Railroads were definitely very important and instrumental in the Civil War, but um, after the Civil War, with the South pretty much wrecked, um, they still were important, and they, a new industry was born, or reborn, was um, lumber, the lumber industry, because the South had lots of trees, that was a big industry, and when the trees were cut, they would be hauled away by the railroads. So you can see right here, nice exhibit about new industry on track. And, um, actually, then um, a guy by the name of John Glover created the Glover Machine Works right here in Marietta and Kenesaw area. And actually became, I believe, a, a, a very big leading um, a shop to build trains. Let's take a look. sorts of neat wheels and other cool stuff over here. This part of the exhibit shows where they might have kept some of the parts they used. Nice video. Shows the foundry where all the parts for the Glover machine works um, the railroad pieces they would make, the trains they would make, where they were all cast. So much awesome stuff here. I'm barely touching the surface with this video. Uh, cool replica of a car. And over machine works. The machinists working on the Glover machine works were undoubtedly the most skilled workers at the factory. The machinists not only had to have a high degree of technical knowledge about how the various pieces of machinery operated, but also needed to be familiar with algebra, geometry, calculus, and metallurgy. He used a variety of tools including dividers, calipers, squares, gauges, rules, and thread cutting, taps, and dies. The machinist was an artisan skilled in all aspects of metalworking.